Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video I want to show you some of the ways that we can handle text in our SOLIDWORKS parts that have multiple configurations and ways that we can get our text to update dynamically. So here you can see I've got a ratchet body and I've got some text that I want to represent the length of my ratchet here. And if I want that to change between my short and long configurations of my ratchet, the most obvious way I can do that is by controlling the suppression states of two different text features. So I have a cut extrude for my long text and a cut extrude for my short text. And as I switch between my configurations, I'm just swapping out and suppressing the other cut extrude. But we have some better tools uh, to be able to accomplish our text updating when we make model changes to our SOLIDWORKS model. So let's take a look at a different version of this ratchet. And on this version, I have some text that I want to represent the length of my ratchet and some text that I want to represent maybe a revision code or something like that. Now if I look at this configuration of my ratchet, the length's 260 millimeters. So if I were to go in and specify that as, as a length in here for my text, obviously when I go to my different configurations that length's gonna, that length text is gonna remain the same. So even if I'm on a shorter configuration it's not updating. Um, however, I am able to actually link that to a dimension on my part if I want to, although not directly. So if I pull up my text, you can see I can't necessarily link to a dimension. I don't have the option to select it, but I am able to link to a file property or custom property. And this is a really nice way we can control text in parts that have multiple configurations. So if I go into my file properties, I can specify a new custom property such as length and then for a value select the dimension I want from my part. And we can see that value gets pulled in and evaluated here. And if I go back into my text dialog I can link that to that custom property that I just created. So now we can see that I'm evaluating at 180 millimeters for this configuration and now if I switch to my different configurations, we'll see that text automatically update with the appropriate length. So we're accomplishing that by creating a custom property that's linked to the dimension in our model that we want to have the text of, and then linking our text to that custom property. Now another thing we may want is indicators, revision indicators say that'll change with each configuration. So say I want this to be configuration A, I want this one to say B, and this one to say C. Rather than creating multiple cut extrudes or extrudes, I can create a configuration specific custom property that will change for each configuration. So if I go back into my file properties and go to the configuration specific tab, I can create a config configuration specific custom property. I'll call it revision code. It's going to be text and I'll call it A for this case. And then when I go in and edit my text for my revision, I'll link it to that custom property. So you can see that revision code here. So now I've got A as my value there, and if I change to a new configuration, I'll get an error because I don't have a value for that custom property here. So I can go into my configuration specific, type in that same information if I want, except makes this one B. If I do a rebuild, we'll see now I've got my text A there, my text B there, and if I want to configure that on my last configuration, an easier way to handle the configuration of those properties is to pull up our configure feature dialog and list it out for all, all parameters. So now we can see I've got my custom property with my revision code here, and I can just specify the text I want to see in all my additional configurations. So you can see that's an easy way to configure your text across different configurations, whether you want it to update based on geometry changes or update based on custom properties that you're manually typing in. So I hope this video helped. Um, for more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel, and thank you for watching.